What's up, everyone? Um, man, I'm going to go live a couple of times today. I here at the home office, and something happened a little bit earlier today I want to share with you guys. And uh, earlier today I talked about clarity, right? How in this time you have to over-communicate and give clarity and how the businesses who are losing tons of money aren't communicating that they're still open, doing curbside, um, whatever that is. So uh, today I was on a call with a client and they changed their credit card numbers, so they gave me the new credit card. And it was really funny because I've never really noticed this. Um, I've never really noticed this before. And what I didn't notice is that when somebody gives you a credit card number, the clarity we have, one, when the person's giving it, and then two, when they are, when we receive it, like we respond, right? So an example is, yeah, here's my new credit card number. It's 1122, and the other person says 1122, uh, 3344, four, and then you go 3344. Four, and then you go on and you say all the numbers and you repeat. Let me, let me get this back to you real quick. Let me say this back to you. So the numbers were 1122, 3344, 5566, 7788, expiration 03 2020, 20, or 2022. Uh, you know, CVV number is uh, 832, address is 1133. Uh, lights of America Lane. That's what my lamp says. Sorry. And, uh, but like, there's so much clarity when it comes to that transaction because there's money involved, right? The person wants to make sure that they're getting their product. And the person receiving the money wants to make sure that they got the right credit card number. So you ask the question time and time again. And I call this don't half it, don't half ask it because so many times, in these situations, again, unprecedented terms, I don't have the answers for a global pandemic. But what I can teach or what I can share is the leadership uh, methods and you know keys that I've been teaching all, of, all along. So, you know, first and foremost, don't half-ass. Stop half-assing stuff. Like, if you were working out before, now work out even harder and get into the best shape of your life because you probably have more time. If you are eating unhealthy, this is the time to probably get better at um, eating healthier. If you were, um, you know, trying to improve your business, this is the time to improve your business. It's time to improve your your culture and your marketing, all those types of things, and learn and lean into the investments that you've made in yourself, as opposed to step out of it. This isn't the time to retract from it. This isn't the time to half-ass anything. This is the time to give in. This is the time to take off the mask of being, you know, oh, I've got everything, you know, covered. I know what I'm doing to, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. Or I, I don't have everything. I, I don't know exactly what's going to happen. And to ask for help because that's okay, right? Don't have to ask planning and strategy at the moment. And just like we don't, half ass getting that credit card number from people it's the same thing that you have to do in life at the moment so the last i think this last week i ran uh six miles each time i don't think i've ever run six miles straight and granted like it's not the fastest time um yes i've been a spartan race but we stop and we do an obstacle and it's fun and you high five and i was just like no like, I'm going to get in the best shape right now while I'm home. So think about it. Maybe write in the comments, like, where are you half-assing it? Right? Where are you half-assing? Are you half-assing it uh, in your finances at the moment? Are you half-assing it with uh, having to get information to somebody? Are you half-assing with FaceTiming and connecting with loved ones, even though it's really hard right now? Are you half-assing it in the investments that you've made in yourself? Are you half fasting it? Maybe you took a course, maybe you learned something and you didn't put anything into action. Maybe you've read a book and you haven't put anything into action. So stop half assing it. This isn't the time to half ass anything. This is the time to double down on yourself. This is the time to make that investment. This is the time to, to have the conversation and get the credit card information like we've been talking about correct. You know, I had another call with a client today and we were talking about how, you know, how to be clear. 
And I think I'm going to talk about clarity all day today because it is so important, so important to get clarity, even your relationships right now, right? Like think about your marriage. Uh, we had a conversation with somebody else in the mastermind call today saying like, hey, I'm at home now. We're sharing more and I'm learning a lot more in the last uh, you know, week than I have in 40, 40 years of marriage. We've never spent this much time at home or I've never spent this much time at home. I was at my office working with clients. And now like there's times where I have to ask my wife, hey, wait, wait a second. Um, did you mean it this way or what exactly were you – you know, what, what were you looking for there? What were you trying to say? And this opened my mind. If someone was about to pay me $50,000 using their credit card, how much clarity would I ask for? I would ask for the number three times. Okay, hold on one second. Let's get this right. You know, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. Expiration is this date. This is the action. You sure? We're good. Yes. Hold, hold on a second. Let me keep it on the phone while I run that credit card number. Just so that we can finish, you know, the transaction while I've got you on the phone so there is no miscommunication. What if we communicated with that much clarity in all aspects of our life in this moment? Stay on the phone with the person until they got it clear. Stay in that meeting with the person until they got it clear. Stay on the phone with that customer until you know that there's so much clarity that when you get off that phone call, all questions are answered. So my challenge to you is, you know, think about the places where you're half-assing yourself. And Anastasia just wrote a comment. I appreciate it, Anastasia. Like, where are you half-assing it? Right? And we'll talk about condition coming up. That's key number four uh, on day number four of this. But understand that, like, clarity is the beginning of great leadership. Clarity is the beginning of being able to solve any issues that are coming up at the moment. Clarity is what's going to get you to tomorrow because without clarity, there's confusion, there's lack of focus, there's fogginess, and there's mistakes that can be made. So below in the comments again, just post where you are uh, unclear, um, where you have lack of clarity. And thanks for watching. Tune in. I'm going to go live every single day just to talk about the 10 keys to leadership. And, and I'm just going to kind of like teach on like different lessons, different experiences I've had with it, right? Um, going back to my life, you know, I didn't have clarity in my business. I didn't have clarity in my relationship. I was lying to myself. You know, there's the famous moment where, that my brother-in-law makes fun of because I say in all my speeches where my wife said I didn't get married to be alone. Because there was just no clarity. I was coming home from work every single day, sitting on the couch, stressed out, not sharing. And it took me time and work to be able to share, right? Therapy and courses and, like, my wife saying, like, hey, like, this marriage is done unless you figure this out. So stop lying to yourself. Tell yourself the truth in where you are unclear with yourself, where you're unclear in your business, where you're unclear in your relationship, where you're unclear uh, in your health, right? And get some clarity, right? Oh, on a piece of paper. And I, I do this every single month. It's called the Clarity Code. And I just write down what's not working right now. And then, you know, I write down what's not working right now. And then on, on, the, on the edge of the paper, I write, what is it that I want? What do I want? Maybe I can share my screen. Hold up a second. This would be awesome if I can share my screen. Um, let's see if this is possible using StreamYard. I've never done it, but let's, let's try it out. So if I share my screen, uh, these are two monitors. Okay, cool. So oh, it's not letting me share it. Um, or maybe this is it. Let me see. Let me know if you can see this. Let's see if this is working or I just totally messed this up. Sorry, give me 10 seconds. I've never done it on this. I don't think it is working. Okay, I'll turn it off. But, so it's called the Clarity Code. I'll post a PDF uh, in the comments. But basically, you know, what I do is, what I do is I write down, like, what's not working at the moment? Where do I need more clarity? And then I write down 
what is it that I want? What do I want in my life and my relationships and in my business? You know, and share share this video or, or tag a, a business owner below so they they get this also because there's a lot of people stressing out like crazy right now. A lot of business owners, business leaders who are like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what decision to make. I don't know what's happening. And I promise you, if they just had a little bit more clarity, it would help so much. So again, I write down, what, what do I want? I write down, and then the last is, what must I do? So where am I now? Like, where am I lying to myself? What's really happening? And then what do I want? And then what must I do? So have clarity. You know, when I, when I used to go to therapy a lot, the therapists would ask questions. It's all about clarity. And then what's an employee manual for it, right? Why, do, why does the law require an employee manual? Because they want you to give clarity to your team member. Why is a <laughs> marriage a uh, license certificate, you know, say what it says. Clarity. If you've ever had a mortgage, right? If you ever bought a house, it's 110 pages of clarity. The fact that you don't read it is a different story. The fact that you don't ask questions might be a different story. But there's so many points in our life that ask for clarity, but you forget to give clarity. You forget to ask for clarity. And if you did, you would improve the situation this much. I'm not an expert in a global pandemic. I'm not asking you to change your world and everything's gonna be sunshine and rainbows. But what I had realized is that when shit hit the fan with me, a little bit of clarity really, really made a big difference. So with that, I'll let you guys go. Um, if you want to you know, write a message below, please, please go ahead. I'll be checking these all day long. Uh, thanks for watching. This is the time to step up and lead. This is the time to get up and lead. This is the time to lead, ladies and gentlemen. So have an incredible uh, rest of your afternoon. You'll probably see me this evening again. Uh, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.